Want to know a very natural way to protect your eyesight against macular degeneration and even glaucoma? Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye makeup health, eye surgery, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, hit, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I love natural treatments because I think they are always going to be the best to utilize your body in everything that we do, especially with your eyes. And I love this study that I just discovered. It is the one thing that you can do that really might have a protective benefit against age-related macular degeneration and even glaucoma. Wanna know what it is? It's exercise. You might hate it, but we all know it's good for you. Well, we know that it helps you with your weight loss, your mood, the sleep better, all of the different medical problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, but did you also know that it might help your eyes? Researchers have found when they studied mice that exercise might actually protect against damage that's typically caused by macular degeneration. Well, let's back up. First, what is macular degeneration? Age-related macular degeneration happens typically in older adults, which is why it's called age-related, and it's when you start to lose your central vision. Your macula is the centermost aspect of your retina, it's responsible for your central vision. This means that when you are looking at things, whether up close or far away, the fine central vision will be lost, but your peripheral vision will be intact. Age-related macular degeneration or AMD is actually really common. It's the most common cause of vision loss in adults over 50. And there are two types. There's dry macular degeneration and wet macular degeneration. We're not gonna get into all of that right now, but know that it's something really important and usually can compromise vision very significantly. You might be receiving injections for the wet type of macular degeneration. You may have parents or grandparents that are doing so, or that are taking vitamins to prevent the worsening of their macular degeneration. Those are called Occubite. You can check out my vitamin video right here. So what researchers did is they studied two groups of mice. One group had an exercise wheel in their cage. Think of a little hamster wheel. And the other group didn't. And after four weeks, the researchers used a little laser to mark the retina and to kind of simulate age-related macular degeneration. And then they let the mice back in their cages. The workout mice ran on their little wheel. The non-workout mice just led their little lives in their cages. And what they found was that the physically active mice had 45% less eye damage than the mice that were just hanging out and living their sedentary lives. This actually supports previous studies that have shown a benefit for exercise with age-related macular degeneration. Another study looked at actually nine different studies and it compiled all the results and it found that exercise had a protective benefit for both early and late forms of macular degeneration. Another study found that people who did moderate physical exercise had a lower risk of developing glaucoma. So not just for macular degeneration, but for glaucoma as well. Glaucoma is when you get damage to the optic nerve. Sometimes it can be from high pressure. Sometimes your pressure in the eye is totally normal. And that pressure has nothing to do with the blood pressure in your body. With glaucoma, it's a little bit the opposite of macular degeneration. You start to lose your peripheral vision first and you are left with your central vision. So it's really amazing that exercise might be a benefit for both of these conditions that work in different parts of your eye. So how much exercise do I recommend? Well, the standard we always recommend is 30 minutes a day, five days a week. That seems tough. I know sometimes I have a hard time getting all of that in, but it doesn't have to be 30 minutes of Peloton or 30 minutes of running. Things like walking, cycling, swimming, active gardening and even dancing are included in that aerobic exercise. So just get out there and get moving. It might save your eyesight. That's it for today, guys. If you have any comments or questions, if you've seen exercise help with your own eye conditions, I'd love to hear about it. I'm always looking for natural treatments and this is really a great way to help protect your eyes. One of the best ways because it has so many benefits in the rest of your body too increase cognition, decrease blood pressure, decrease blood sugars, better attention, better sleep, the whole list. And now I help.
If you have any topics you'd love for me to do other videos on, please drop them in the comments below. I read each and every one of them. And until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.